So to make your ice cream scoops, you're going to need a few pieces of newspaper. You're going to need one piece to crumple up into a ball for each ice cream scoop. And then you're going to need another piece that is going to lay over that ball like a blanket and contain everything that you've just crumpled up into a nice neat little package. So let's get started. Here's my first piece of paper and I'm going to crumple it into a ball. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that is a really, really small. So I'm going to do a little bit more crumpling around that ball because I want a bigger, I want a bigger ice cream scoop. I think this will fit in a lot better. And you can always add to it if you want more size to your ice cream scoop. All it means is just adding more paper. Okay, so here is my first little ball. And I'm going to take some masking tape. And I'm just going to wrap the tape around so that it keeps my ball in one manageable packet. Okay. I'm not done with the ice cream scoop. Okay. I think it'll be, that'll be a good size. Okay. And now I'm going to take a slightly bigger piece of newspaper and I'm going to wrap it around that ball to make that really nice and tight and make my nice little package for my ice cream scoop. And I'm going to grab another piece of masking tape, which I've already cut and I have hanging off the side of my table so that it's ready to go. And I'm going to just make like a, a belt around the, the ball so that it holds everything in. That's really good. Okay, that's one ice cream scoop. And before I go any further, I'm going to stuff my cone with some newspaper. There we go. Now it's stuffed in there. So when I put my ice cream cone on top of it, it's going to have like a nice solid structure to sit on top of. So I'm going to keep going. So you don't have to be super duper neat, but your packets do have to be pretty tight and they need to hold together nicely because this is going to be the base for your paper mache. So let's get started assembling the ice cream cone. You're going to need more tape. I like to always make sure I've got tape ready to go hanging off the end of my table. So here is a piece of tape hanging off the end of my table. I just like to strip some tape and just leave it right on the side. Okay, so how do you attach it? You put your first scoop on the cone and then you wrap your tape 
around that scoop to hold it down like that see it's like a piece of tape that just wraps around the scoop and then you're going to keep doing that as you go up your comb with all the other scoops Once your ice cream scoots are attached, then you're gonna make another belt that goes in between each of the scoops. So they're gonna look round. Here's one belt, and it's gonna go the horizontal way. And you're gonna pull it real tight. And don't worry about ripping paper. It's okay if you happen to rip some of the masking tape that was going vertically, it's okay. The whole point is to keep everything in uh, inside the sculpture and your and to just sort of mold mold the different ice cream scoops so that they are defined. as little balls that connect to each other like this okay so now you would be ready to start your paper mache at this point point. 